Hello everyone, welcome to NG Classes YouTube channel. In this video lecture, uh, we shall consider a numerical using long division method. Find the inverse Z transform of X of Z, which is equal to 2 plus Z inverse divided by 1 minus 0.5 Z inverse. And they have also given the ROC as mod Z greater than 0.5. Yes, uh, this is, I would say, one of the easiest numericals one can expect in uh, signals and uh, systems. Using the long division method, finding inverse Z transform. That is the easiest uh, numerical. Uh, before we proceed further, what I do is, uh, uh, we know that the expression of Z transform, that is X of Z, which is equal to, so first uh, write uh, this uh, equation, X of Z is equal to summation n equal to minus infinity till infinity x of n z to the power minus n. In the next step uh, we shall please, we shall uh, uh, expand this further. First let me put n equal to minus infinity. I am going to get x of uh, minus infinity z to the power plus infinity because it is minus n. Minus of minus it becomes plus. Similarly plus dash 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 I would write uh, now for let me put n equal to minus 2 therefore it becomes x of minus 2 z to the power plus 2 is this fine similarly plus x of uh, let me put n equal to minus 1 x of minus 1 z to the power 1 plus uh, let me put uh, n is equal to 0 this is nothing but x of uh, 0 z to the power 0 is nothing but 1 plus similarly let me put uh, n equal to 1 now if I put n is equal to 1 I am going to get x of 1 z to the power minus 1 plus x of 2 z to the power minus 2 similarly it continues till plus infinity is this fine so I would consider this equation and I would call this as equation number 1 because ultimately I am going to compare whatever the answer I am going to get with this so that I can get the inverse Z transform that is X of N. Yes, now we shall consider finding uh, uh, inverse Z transform using the long division method. In the numerator we have 2 plus Z inverse. Is this fine? And in the denominator uh, we have 1 minus 0.5 z to the power minus 1. Is this fine? So this is what we have. This is the method we are going to make use to find the inverse z transform. One trick here uh, I would uh, like to share is if ROC is greater than any value, in this case it is uh, greater than 0.5. Suppose if it is greater than any value then I have to expand this in terms of negative power of z. If it is uh, less than any value expand this in terms of positive powers of z. How do I do that? Just rearrange the terms. So first write z to the power minus 1 plus 2. Here also minus 0.5 z to the power uh, minus 1 plus 1. In that way you arrange and we get the answer in terms of positive power of z. So as uh, ROC is greater than 0.5, here uh, let me expand this in terms of negative powers of z. Yes, uh, how do I do this? Uh, first I would uh, multiply something to the 1 so that I would get 2. So what that should be? That should be 2. 2 into 1 is nothing but 2. And I would multiply 2 with this uh, part as well. Uh, 2 into minus 0 0.5 is nothing but minus 1 z inverse. Right? So now I would cancel out the term. The, this I make it as negative. This I would make it as positive. Plus 2 minus 2 would cancel and I would ultimately get uh, z inverse plus z inverse is nothing but 2z inverse. Is this fine? So now I have to cancel this out so that I should multiply something with 1. What that must be? It must be plus 2z inverse. If I multiply 1 with 2z inverse, I am going to get 2z inverse minus 2 into 0.5. Uh, again it is uh, 1 z to the power minus 1 into z to the power minus 1 it becomes z to the power minus 2 so now well, let me cancel out the term this I will make it as negative this I would make it as positive these two would cancel here I would get z to the power minus 2 is this fine so once I get z to the power minus 2 I have to cancel that so I would multiply 1 with z to the power minus 2 what I am going to get here I would get z to the power minus 2 minus 
पॉइंट फाइव जेड टू द पावर माइनस वन जेड टू द पावर माइनस टू इज नथिंग बट जेड टू द पावर माइनस थ्री इज दिस फाइन सो नाउ फॉर लेट मी कैंसल आउट द टर्म्स आई वुड मेक दिस एज नेगेटिव दिस एज पॉजिटिव जेड टू द पावर माइनस टू एंड माइनस जेड टू द पावर माइनस टू वुड कैंसल एंड आई वुड गेट पॉइंट फाइव जेड टू द पावर माइनस थ्री If I keep on doing like this, I keep on getting the values in terms of negative powers of z. So at one step we have we have to stop. So here I would uh, stop. Finally, what I do is, therefore, x of z is equal to. So whatever I got as the quotient is nothing but x of z, which is equal to two plus two z to the power minus one plus z to the power minus two. Plus dash dash dash. I would write something like this. So now I have to compare this with equation number one so that I would get all the terms in uh, x of n. Is this fine? So now, as you can see, we have got negative powers of z. Negative powers of z are negative powers of z are here. That is for n. Greater than zero for n less than zero. This part I do not have. Hence, that must be zero. Therefore, what I do here is comparing. So let me write comparing this with equation one as it is there earlier. Comparing this with equation one, we are going to get x of n. Is equal to zero for n less than zero. That is what I said. Now, if I compare that, I'm going to get x of zero. X of zero is nothing but this is the one two. And similarly, I'm going to get x of one is equal to it is two z inverse. Compare this with x of one z inverse. Therefore, x of one is nothing but two. is this fine so this is how we proceed further similarly comparing that i am going to get x of 2 x of 2 is nothing but uh, here i have 1 this is 1 in this way uh, i would get all the answers therefore finally what i do is i would sum up everything therefore x of n is equal to i would write 2 comma 2 comma 1 dash 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 And I would write an arrow mark over here. That means it is the value at n equal to zero. Yes, this is the numerical based on uh, long division method. I said uh, it is the easiest one. Uh, the only trick we have to remember is check the ROC. Is it greater than some value? If yes, expand this in terms of negative power of z. If it is less than any value, expand the same with respect to positive power of z. Compare with x of n. Therefore, we would get the final x of n. Yes. Uh, i have explained this numerical step by step i hope everyone has understood this if there are still any doubts please let me know them on to the comment section i would definitely answer those doubts meanwhile subscribe to our channel ng classes for more videos on signals and systems till then thank you so much for watching